What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another Fish Guy Jack video, baby. It's a great day to be alive. And if you haven't done so already, be sure to go check out the hats. I'm rocking this one. Kyle's rocking that one, looking good on Kyle. They're selling very quickly. I wanna say thank you to everyone who purchased a hat. Absolutely crazy, I love you guys so much. But we're walking up to the Fish Guy Jack honey hole right now, the beautiful location here in sunny South Florida that's absolutely loaded with fish. My most requested video is to go out catch some fish and bring them back for my aquarium. And that's exactly what we're gonna do today. We're gonna go catch fish for this aquarium right here. It's a little bear on fish. And you know what? I know I can catch some good ones. We're pulling up here now. It's a beautiful day. Let's see what we can get into. All right, we're here now. The tide is extremely high. This is the highest I've ever seen it. We have a huge tide pool right here. Look at the size of this tide pool. It is massive, goes all the way around and then back into here. The goal today, like I said earlier, we're looking to catch some fish for our aquarium. And what better place than to do it here? We already saw a bunch of fish inside here. I got the cast net, I got some shrimp, I got the rod. We're gonna catch some fish, I can guarantee you. Let's do it. All right, we're gonna throw the cast net around. We're just gonna kind of see what we got going on. So I got my cast net here. This is just a six foot net. If you've never thrown a cast net before, I'm just gonna give you a quick rundown on how to do it. Get all the rope up in your hand. Come about halfway down right there. Put that there, the way I do it. I take this, put this in my mouth. Open the net up like this and then chunk it, baby. Let's see what we can get. We got, we got something in there. What do we got, Kyle? I don't know. We got a lot. We got a lot of stuff. Those are finger yep, mullet. Yep, those are finger mullet, bro. Two silver mullet. Now, if you don't know what mullet are, they're gonna start showing up like crazy by the tens of millions. The mullet run is a real thing. Millions upon millions of fish come migrating down the beach with big tarpon, big sharks, big snook. You're gonna for sure see it on this channel, so don't worry. Let's get all these guys back in the water because these, we don't want these. All right, we're gonna see what we can find inside this tide pool. If we can't find anything inside this tide pool, we're gonna get the hook in line and start casting around because we gotta take at least one fish home for our tank. Just saw a beautiful looking puffer here. Oh, there's a, there's a whole school puffers. I'm throwing my bait, I'm throwing my bait. Here we go, it's sinking. I don't wanna get too, they're on it. They're chewing it. Small hook, cut the clip. All right, we just switched it up. We got a much smaller hook on there now. It's gonna be instant. All right, come on. I see the one I want. He's got the best stripes on him. And he's on it. Oh, here comes Big Betty. Got Big Betty. You. <laughs> okay, this is 1000% an option. Check out how pretty that pufferfish is. Oh, he's puffing up on us. Look at that. Beautiful. Tell me that thing ain't pretty. See the blue in that eye, the, the orange ring? That is definitely an option. You guys already know, if you don't follow the main channel, we have a beautiful guinea fowl puffer. I'll show you guys him right now. He's beautiful, but this guy, something about these. They look like a cheetah. Let's get him in the bucket. All right, you're coming home with me as of right now. There you go. Stay calm, sir. I have an aerator. I'll get some oxygen on you as soon as possible. Thank you. Guys, Fish Guy Kyle has some amazing eyes. I'm fully risking it right now. Big, uh, nice looking eagle ray or manta ray right here. I hope you guys can see it. I'm walking up to it. I'm risking my life. I might get stung. And I'm risking my phone. Look how deep I am. This is insanity. Look at that. Look at that manta ray. Freaking so, you know, that's gotta be an eagle ray, bro. You never know what you're gonna see out here. That was right next to our tide pools. That's why I'm telling you guys, look how high the tide is. The tide is extremely high that you can't even, the tide pools are completely exposed. So that thing can swim in there, get stuck. And that's that. What a cool find. You never know what you're gonna see out here. Let's catch some more stuff. Good, how you doing? Good. You guys fishing? Very nice. Well, good luck, bro. Thanks, too. Yeah, nice boat. Couple fish guys right there. All right, so we got our puffer. Oh, the, the eagle ray's back over there. We got our puffer. We just saw some fish guys. They were having a great day. We saw an eagle ray. Now let's try to catch something else. I'm going to cast out this way and see what we can find. Little tiny piece of shrimp because we want something that's kind of small so we can be able to put it into our tank. So let's see what we can get. All right, it looks like we got a little baby needlefish that has our bait. The thing with this is that you need to let them eat it for a little bit because if they don't get it all the way down, you're just gonna pull the hook right out of their mouth. So let's see if we can get them. There we go, we got them. We got them. Just a wee little booger, huh? Hey, much smaller than the guy from the other day. Much smaller. See, mm, you think he's too big to be going to the tank? Probably. Looks, oh, Plus all right, I'll let you keep the shrimp, buddy. It's a predator too, I think. I uh, yeah, I think something. he's probably a little bit too big for the tank so we'll let this one go we still oh i'm gonna let this one go we still have our puffers so let's put this guy back get on out of here buddy 
There he goes, off like a freaking charm, god damn it. All right, I think we got our fish for our tank. We're gonna take that puffer home because honestly, he's super, he's pretty cute. I'm gonna take him home, see how he does in our tank. I think he's gonna do really well. And now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna cast net those mold again because kind of just hit me. I'm gonna take one lucky winner to try and outmaneuver our giant fish in our 4,000 gallon pond. I'm gonna throw the mold in there. Maybe I'll take two and it's, it probably should get demolished. So let's catch some more mullet. Then we're getting out of here. Let's do it. All right, we got we got our mullet right here. There's literally two of them in the school, so this is perfect. If we can get these, we got our food for our fish. We so got them. We got one. We definitely got one. Whoa. Let's get them out of the net. Where did we get two? Nope, just one. Perfect. Perfect size little bait for our pond fish. A nice live meal for them. They're gonna absolutely love this thing. I'm gonna get them in the bucket now. Maybe we'll catch one more. How do I've gotten them, bro? Yeah, I do. They're trapped in the corner. You gotta stick with you, too. Yeah. Did we get, oh, oh, you I got him. You got him. We got one. That's all we need, though. Oh, is that? No, that's a puffer. Oh. Yep, it's a puffer. Oh, baby puffer. Little, little baby. Little baby guy. Okay, buddy, you're vibrating in my hand. That's cool. <laughs> nice little guy. Let's let him go let back. Him go. Time to fly, little See it, buddy. All right, we're just going to take the one mullet. If you guys want me to go out and catch a ton of bait fish, take them back to the 4,000-gallon pond and just throw them all in there alive and see what the fish do, I think it would be absolutely crazy and insane. So let me know down below if you guys want to see that. Let's get a thousand likes on this video and I'll make it happen. We're gonna head home now. I'll see you guys back at the house. Back at the house, guys. You know what? I literally just got home. I look inside my bucket and the mullet I caught is gone. It must have jumped out of my bucket and back into the water. I don't know where it went. It's not even in the bed of the truck. It's gone, it's vanished. So if you want me to go do a video of netting a bunch of bait and then taking it back to the pond and feeding everyone, let me know down below. We got our sick little pupper here. Come here, buddy. There he is. This puffer that we caught, check that thing out. Cool eyes on it now, he's a little dull because he's stressed. Now, when you look in here, you don't see the guinea fowl puffer. The guinea fowl puffer is actually in a 10 gallon tank because his eyes started getting cloudy, so we put him in there and we're, we're treating him with something, so I'll show you guys him that. You actually, the clip I showed you guys earlier is him in the 10 gallon tank, but let's get this guy into the tank and see how he looks. All right, buddy. Let's see how you're doing here. If you're not a good boy, you're going back, all right? Good luck, sir. Best of luck to you. I wish you, you're really cute though. You are. Look at him here, Brooke. Oh, he went back down. You're really cute. Brand new saltwater fish for our aquarium, ladies and gentlemen. I'm gonna do Discord shout outs here in a second once I get upstairs. I'll see you guys then. Yo, you know what? I feel like I have some new subscribers on the channel, so I said, screw it. I'm not gonna do Discord shout outs just yet. I just got out of the shower and I wanna feed some of the fish we have in the tank room. If you're unaware of it, we have a lot and a lot of fish here and uh, not only do we have fish tanks we have fish ponds there's so much that we have on the main channel that I haven't even shown you guys yet so I want to give you guys just a little bit of the behind the scenes behind the main channel and I'm gonna go ahead and feed one of my favorite fish inside of the tank room right now it's the yellow-headed moray eel he's an absolute savage he grubs and he's gonna get absolutely huge so I got some defrosted shrimp right here and he's gonna go absolutely ham on it all right get ready here you go buddy down to the bottom you go. Dun dun. Dun dun. Dun dun. All right, here he goes, guys. He's about to smack this shrimp. Oh, let's go. He just smoked that. Oh, there's the other one. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Let me throw this one in there, too. Come here. Boom. Drop it in. Guys, this fish, I'm telling you right now, this fish is psycho. This fish is absolute. What? what? Oh, he sees it. It's gone. It's done. It's over. He's a psychopath. And he loves the, and he doesn't even chew. Where are the manners, huh? Now that fish is absolutely crazy, okay? That fish is crazy. And that's just one of our rare fish. You don't even know that we have a tank room here, 4,000 gallon pond outside, and we have a warehouse full of fish, ladies and gentlemen. It's crazy. If you haven't done so already, become a fish guy. Smash that subscribe button. Trust me, you're not going to be disappointed. We're going to be around for a long haul, and hope you guys hop on board with us. I'm taking the fish guys to the moon, so hop on board. We're going there as we speak, ladies and gentlemen. It's time to do some Discord shout outs. Actually, let me throw one more piece of that damn eel. You're not hungry anymore, buddy? 
That's his little rock that he likes to sit inside of right there. That's just his little area. He's got his tail all coiled up in there, so he's just his little head. Not for long. That fish is gonna get huge. Oh, come on, come in the light. Look at that head. Glowing yellow. Oh, he might come out. Nope. Oh, yeah, he's leaving. Oh, baby. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, he sees that piece. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Such a fierce fish, dude. Look at those chompers on him. You don't want to get near that fish. Oh, he's gonna go get the other ones. Boom. Gone. Done. That's two whole shrimp that fish just ate. Crazy! Psycho! What are you doing? It's not even worth your time eating that. Okay, enough obsessing over the eel. I'm sorry, I love that fish, ladies and gentlemen. I think you guys probably enjoy him too. Let's do some Discord shoutouts. All right, here we go. Shout out to Ben Salvage. Shout out to Dark6026. And shout out to, we're gonna do one more. We're doing one more. Shout out to Hockey101. If you wanna do, if you wanna win a shout out and be up to date on everything that's going on and chat with other fish guys and fish girls all across the world, I'll have that link down in the description as well as these super fire freaking hats ladies and gentlemen they're selling quick trust me there's not many of them left i'm not i'm not exaggerating they're selling extremely quick get your hands on them while you can ladies and gentlemen i love you guys so much i'll catch you guys in that next video drop some video ideas down below let me know what you guys thought of this video and i'll catch you guys in that next one peace out